fans today I have a special video because in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to create your maps in Mysterio Legacy so you'll be able to build your bases blueprints for your bases for farms for possible maps that you'll share with the dev and put in the game but you know opens up many possibilities anyways you'll be able to do that and as you can see here on the tabs these are the only two things we're going to need. You're going to go to uh, the Mysterio Legacy website and the map editor. Anyways, I did uninstall this so that way we can go through it together because I'm going to teach you all the way through. So sorry if it's going to be a long video. Sorry ahead of time. Um, anyways, let's get started. What I want you to do, once you're on the website, it doesn't matter where you're at. We could go to news, but go ahead and right click inspect and I know it looks kind of complicated and everything just don't focus on it just do what I'm doing right here on the the tabs we have elements console and sources once you go to sources here you're gonna go to images and what this is is here is uh, pretty much the the website uses uh, images to structure it so you know all those things that we see there the dragons everything it it's structuring it with uh, PNG with uh, art anyways it's not images sorry let's see images no yeah it is hang on do 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 sorry let's see so once we go to sources you go to data and as you can see here, we can see the art style for like the player, clothing, you know. Uh, but we're not going to focus on that. We're just, remember, we're making maps. So what we really need is the, the tiles. So go to miscellaneous. Uh, go ahead and hit, we're going to go to items. Go to item 16. Once you're on there, right click on the image and put image in it open image in a new tab once you do that save the image as and we're gonna save it to our desktop and I did make a art style here we're gonna save it in a Mr. Legacy folder so make sure to create a new folder call it Mr. Legacy art and then save it in there Dang it, I just closed it out. All right, once you're back on here, uh, next thing you're gonna need is tile 16 It's the last one over here go ahead and do the same thing right click open image in a new tab once you have it there save image as and make sure to save it in your folder okay um, and if you really want to get into detail you could also do the edges but you know this is just a blueprint so I don't really need that okay now, in terms of art style, I think we've got everything. If oops, nope, that's not what we need. Where are you? Here's the Mister Legacy art. That's a duplicate. Don't don't listen to that. So next, alrighty, guys. The next step we're gonna do is uh, download the Tile Map Editor. Um, so this is the website you need to go to, Tile Map Editor. Um, it's right here. I'll leave links in the description below so that way you can go in there. Um, but you're going to download at itch.io. Uh, download now, go down, and then download now. What would just happen there? And then put no thank you just for window users you're gonna have to download it from here this top one and then Mac users which I'm using a Mac so I'll download it from here and follow through okay 
Okay, we're gonna open it up, and I believe it's gonna ask us to unzip it. I don't know why it says tile two. I did delete it, but anyways. I. Uh, now for the Mac, there's this problem where it says it cannot be opened because it can't be verified. Blah blah. There is a way to um, get past that. So you're gonna go to System Preferences. You go to Security and Privacy. And then open anyways. It's right here. There's a, a section for open anyways. Click on that, and then it's gonna ask you this just tiled. It should look something like this. And in order to get started, just hit new map. And these are the settings you want to have it as orthogonal. Uh, these are for different kinds of maps, so isometric maps, hexagonal maps, but we're not making any of those. CSV right down so this is the order on which uh, the tile is rendered in so right up left down uh, right down is usually why I always have it uh, the map size you want to keep the map size pretty small if you make it big it, it does have issues uploading to other places or anyways small is good and then you want to have the tile sizes to be 16 by 16. So make sure you set it as those. All right. Next step, save as. Save it inside your Mystera Legacy folder. Uh, we're going to call it Mystera Legacy Tutorial. And once you're inside, on the bottom right corner, you want to click on New Tile Set. And then... We're actually going to grab the art files real quick. So here's the item. Open up item. Make sure. Let's see what is this type. Yeah. Make sure it's 16 by 16. So go ahead and hit OK. As you can see here, this is our items page. And now we're going to hit a new page over here. And this time we're grabbing. Well, this time we're grabbing the tile page okay and same thing make sure it's 16 by 16 you could change the name of them if you'd like I'm gonna keep it like that though and there's our tiles alright our next step is actually to go do a quick overview of the tools that we have in here um, so I'm just going to select a random tile and we're going to get started. So our first one is actually the stamp brush. You can use it with a, a B. And this just a lot. It's kind of like the pencil basically. And it allows you to draw whatever you'd like, whatever base, you know. The next tool we're going to go over is actually the bucket. And for the bucket, you use the F key to actually select it. Boom, there you go. I want this whole base to be 30 by 30. And, you know, it makes it easier to just fill a hole. Our next one is actually the shape fill tool. So if we grab something else um, like this, you can see we have a billion dual statues. That looks ugly. Let me fix that. There you go. And our eraser, which is can be accessed with E to finally erase things. And then the area selector, which can be selected with R. Boom. There we go. I cleaned our page. And lastly, the most imp one of the important tools is the magic wand. So in case you want to select something and that's pretty much a quick overview of the tools you're you'll mainly use here uh, let's go over the layers and I'll show you how to structure it our first layer is actually going to be the ground or the floor so ground and this is where you're gonna build floors you're gonna build the recall tile whatever anything on the floor right there boom right and then you're gonna fill it easy now what comes next after floors? We can actually build, uh, start mapping our walls. So let's call it walls. And you'll find the wall on item 16. 
all the way at the bottom and as you can see the walls look kind of weird because it's actually that's actually how the walls look like but the walls actually come with a roof and that's what makes it look like an actual base so let's actually do that uh, we're gonna need a separate page separate layer for the roof so let's call it roof and <clears throat> the roof is right above the wall and as you can see when we start placing the the roof it looks kind of weird that's not how it actually looks like in the game right like what's going on here um as you can see the roof should be elevated so i think in order to fix this problem you're actually going to click on roof you're going to click on vertical offset right here on the left side and you're going to elevate the roof by negative eight pixels right there and look at that it looks exactly like in the game so that's a pretty good looking base right now um what other things there we are going to need a uh a, a page for our our items so in case you want to place oops not there item should be above ground here there you go Let's call it items for your, you know, in case you just, whoa, in case you just want to place like, oh, this is where the hammers will be for the training room and our swords will be here. Um, but the base is missing a door, so, you know, we can't have anyone just go inside. So let's actually build a door. Now, if I place a door here, it looks kind of weird because that's not how it looks like in the game. So go ahead and erase it. We're going to make an, a new layer. Call it door. And inside here, whoop, come on. We're actually going to do the same thing with the, uh, how we, we're going to do the same thing like we did with the roof layer. We're going to click on door click on vertical offset and you want to offset it by negative four pixels and there you go it matches the game a lot right here so yeah this is a good base there is something we're missing and those are our towers and I'll show you how to build those boom so let's build the tower is made up of three pieces which is the bottom middle and and top layer so we're actually gonna call it bot tower mid tower and top tower go to tile page and start building the tower it's gonna be right here a little below the we'll just scroll a little bit so we're gonna go to bottom layer build the bottom tower and so on make sure you build it on the side because I'm gonna show you a trick so we've now built the, the arrow tower so what you're gonna do is actually click on bottom tower hold shift and select top tower and so when you go on here select uh, area selector select the tower copy paste and now you're actually able to build your base. Uh, you're actually able to build multiple towers without even trying right there. And But it does look kind of weird because the top tower should be over the roof. And so is the mid tower. But the bottom will always stay there. Because, you know, when if, if we were to have the bottom of the tower above the roof it just looks like we've built towers on top of the the walls which could be a good addition to the game that's the reason why we had to make three layers for the tower just simply so we can do this um, you could combine the top and mid tower I guess but this is just how I do it um, what else yeah I guess that's about everything you could start making your own layers and everything else so our items you could call one 
here's the wall so our altars maybe one day we'll have we'll be able to build altars in our bases and there you go and that's pretty much the tutorial i hope this helped everyone if you like this video go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace out